So hey guys, it's Mariana Cavasso. In today's video, we have something that isn't really requested, but I'm going to show y'all anyways. Um, it's how to make wallpaper slash backgrounds for your computer. It doesn't have to be your MacBook specifically, but you can make it to fit your computer screen or your phone screen or any screen that you want. And I'm going to show you guys how I get my pictures, where I get my pictures from. I'll also show you guys my Pinterest because that's where I get my pictures from. Um, so you can follow that and get all the pictures that I use in the wallpapers that I'm making today. And yeah, so <laughs> let's just get into it. So to start, I wanted to plug Pinterest. It is the ultimate photo plug for any aesthetic images that you would like. It's a little bit controversial in creating wallpapers. Some people say that photographers have the rights to their photo, but so long as the photographer has not put a watermark over the image and you're not selling the image, Pinterest is a perfect place to find pictures of different aesthetics. You can find grunge, baddie, soft girl, so many different aesthetics and they all are free, completely free to download and use for personal use. I cannot stress this enough, for personal use. Do not try to sell these wallpapers because the original photographers or takers of the picture can sue you because they did not give you the right to use their image. Unless you go and you contact the person who took the image specifically, do not try to sell the backgrounds or wallpapers that you make. You can also make a wallpaper out of these cute little images of baby animals because that would be a cute wallpaper as well. So I decided to do a shameless self plug, go follow my Pinterest and I have a board filled with quotes that you can also use to create a wallpaper. I want to do this for the school year so I'll actually be doing this sometime soon and yeah. So this is again my personal picture wall collage. These are images that I've saved over like a period of like six months. I've been saving these pictures, I probably have like 300. I'm actually saving them for a collage wall in my bedroom, but I do use them for backgrounds on my computer sometimes as well. So go follow that or go follow me on Pinterest if you want to see more. So now that you have your images from Pinterest, you're, if you have a MacBook, all you're going to do is drag the images out of the screen, basically. So you want to make the Pinterest tab not the full screen, and then just drag the pictures out to your desktop. And, you know, just drag the ones that you want to fit, like, the aesthetic or vibe that you're going for. So for the purposes of this video, I just made, like, a landscape cactus type one, because that was pretty easy since I had a lot of these pictures so I don't have to do any like extra work basically and you're just gonna keep on dragging the images until you find all the ones that you need Now once you do this, you're going to open Canva. If you've never done Canva, make an account with them. It's completely free. All you need is an email. And you're going to create a design with the specific dimensions that you want for your wallpaper. So since I already have a wallpaper dimension already made, all I did was make a copy of the previous wallpaper that I literally just made last night. <laughs> and I just then deleted the pictures that I put on the screen so that it was like a blank dimension thing that I could upload new pictures into. So the dimensions for MacBook Pro 13 inch is 1280 by 800 pixels. And then I just decided to rename this so that it would be differentiated and not just like copy of wallpaper, wallpaper, wallpaper two or something like that. So once I have this, then you're just going to start dragging in the images in Canva and just continue dragging. It's really not anything complicated. Um, if you're on a device that is not a Mac, you would just have to upload each image 
individually through the little upload an image or video button that you can see that's in the top left hand corner of the screen on Canva. It's above the image and video tab like on the left hand screen of Canva. So you're just gonna continue dragging them in and then you're going to start positioning the images how you want them um, just to kind of fit like the collage aesthetic you're going for. You can put all the pictures in a straight line. You can make the images smaller, bigger. Um, you can crop the images if there's any excess stuff in the picture that you don't want. So this is really the experimental process. You're just moving stuff around. You can also copy and paste some of the images that are underneath to have them come above like so. There we go. You saw I put that so that it wasn't just underneath all the pictures, it's now above them. So you can actually see the picture that you put on there. So you're gonna delete any duplicates, move stuff around, put it, layer it on top if you don't like how only a little bit is showing through and just kind of, you know, figure out how you want everything placed and see if the images that you have are, you know, fitting the vibe of what you want. If they're not fitting the vibe, then you can go ahead and move them around, delete them, and even get more pictures if you'd like. So this is just me continuing to do that, moving stuff around, deleting stuff, making sure it's positioned in the way that I want it to. And Canva kind of helps you out making sure that all the pictures are at the edges, but just double check before you're ready to download. So now that your image is done, we're going to download. There's many different file types that you can download images in. I would recommend PNG or JPG or JPEGs. Those are the best quality, GP JPGs are smallest size, but PNGs are the best for images like this because you want it to be the highest quality possible because you want to be able, you're going to be looking at this like every time you log into your computer. So now all you're going to do is delete all the pictures from your laptop. I just do this first because it kind of annoys me how they're all bunched up like that. So I just decided to delete them first thing and just get rid of them and so that they're not there. Then I open settings and I go to the desktop screensaver button and you can see it has like a little square where my original wallpaper is and now I just drag in the new wallpaper and as you can see it looks amazing. It fits the screen perfectly, there's no white space or anything and you can make as many wallpapers as you want and change them out each time by just dragging them in. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.